Well, it's that time of year that many of you are considering making the trip to the beach. I mean, how beautiful is this? Who wouldn't want to be there? Something, though, I want to bring up that's very important, and you want to heed the warning. If you see any signs that show that there are rip currents around that area. Now, what is a rip current? Well, basically, as we look here at the beach, kind of from above, a rip current is a narrow channel of water that's actually flowing away from the shore. Of course, you know the beach, the, the waves push toward the shore. Basically, what happens is if conditions are right, you get so many of these waves that wash up, they actually bring more water in and it just needs a place to run out to balance. And so a rip current is doing exactly that. So in this example, you get into the water, all of a sudden, instead of being pushed toward the shore, you get sucked out like our little guy right here did. This is a rip current. Now, the most important thing to remember, and I imagine it would be very hard, but the most important thing to remember is to not panic. This is a channel of water that's only about 10 to 20 feet wide or so. So what do you do? So you're in a rip current. You're being swept away from the shore. The most important outside of not panicking is do not fight the current. Do not try to swim back to shore in that rip current. You will lose. You will then become too tired, and that's when bad things happen. What you're going to want to do instead is swim parallel to the shore to escape the current. So our little guy here, he can swim this way. He can swim this way. And when you get out of that rip current, the natural force of the waves are going to push you back into the shore. If you can't escape, you can float, you can tread water. Again, that falls in line with the not panicking thing. Of course, if you need help, you call out, you get assistance. Most of the beaches, or at least many of the beaches, are going to have lifeguards. They're going to be aware that there's a rip current threat out there. They're going to have signs posted, and they're going to be watching for these things. Uh, but also, one last thing about it, when you're looking out in the water, Usually a rip current, the waves are much less where that rip current is. So if you see a bunch of waves on this side and a bunch of waves on that side, but not so many in the middle, there could very well be a rip current there. Remember these tips and be safe this summer.